Hey guys, so today I'm doing another video, probably not uploading the same day, but I want to talk about The Evil We Love from the Shadowhunter Academy, which Cassandra Clare and some other authors are writing. Um, I've read all the short stories so far, but I think this is going to be the last one I read until the big book comes out, like with the Magnus Bane Chronicles. Um, uh, if you know... I did not read these as they came out. I just started the Shadowhunter Chronicle Chron series. Sorry. Um, I don't know what to even call these anymore. This year. As you see, there's like these little lines. Um, separate stories. And then when you buy the book, or with this one, when you bought the book, another one came out, which is my favorite one. I don't know. I might just have to talk about this later. But I'm going to wait till it comes out in a big, nice thing like this to read the rest. I really want to talk about this story just because ah, it was crazy. Can't really look at it because it's on my phone. So this is going to be a lot for memory. I'm scared. So in the beginning, Simon's being Simon. Then Isabel walks in with Robert Lightwood. I don't like Robert Lightwood. I, ah, I just don't like him. Just, ah, Oh, I just don't like Robert Lightwood. It's a problem. Ah, I don't even know how to express my feels towards him. But I was happy to see Isabel, but not because I didn't want her to get embarrassed yet again or like rejected or something. Simon, I'm not very happy with you in these short stories. Not liking, not liking you, bud. Be nice to Isabel. She's my favorite. Um, but <laughs> just. I thought it was interesting to see what was really going through Robert's head instead of what, you know, hearing what he was saying to the class. We were actually in Robert's past and what happened with him and Michael and Mars and Valentine and blah. But I don't know if I do like him anymore. After this short story or not, I have respect, more respect for him, I guess. I don't, I guess I kind of like him more, but I don't like him any, like, I don't like him, but I don't hate him. I just, he's just kind of there. Don't dislike him. I don't like him. He's just he's in that weird middle range. don't know how to feel about that, but... Uh, I wish he would have told Isabel more of the story. I understood why he didn't. Oh, this has spoilers in it. I think that should have been obvious enough. So if you haven't read any of the other short stories, this will spoil them too. Logic, people. What's that? Um. Anyway, I understood like why Robert didn't tell... Isabel everything that was going on in that time because it takes a long time first off and Simon was there so he Robert doesn't seem too sure of Simon city of heavenly fire he was very confused of the relationship between him and his um Simon and his daughter which we all were just ah, those two Sissy be like mm. uh, but I, I think Robert trusts him in a way with his daughter. I don't know. We just don't know much about Robert. Don't really know him. We know he's Isabel, Alex, and Matt's his dad. And he had an affair with his on his wife. With his wife that... I don't know if that happens. That'd be interesting. Um, but that's... And he was in the circle... That's all we know about Robert. We don't know his past. Don't know about his family, siblings, anything. We don't know Robert. We know he has two dead parents. But I only know that because Shadowhunter Wiki, it might be somewhere in these books before me. But I don't remember reading it. Um, I He's such a complex character in a way. It's very interesting. But just to learn that he's gay... I'm pretty sure he's gay after the whole Michael thing and him having to convince himself he's attracted to Mars. 
not Michael. That was a bit heartbreaking. And, oh, it's just, that hurt to know he had to conceal that part of himself off because of Valentine, because he didn't want to be, like, he didn't want his family to have more shame because of him than they already did, because he almost died when he got his first rune. I wonder if, you know, the kids know that, and by the kids I mean Alec and Isabel, Max, so on. Or Jace, too. That would be the so on, I guess. It's just, his story was pretty heartbreaking. He, I don't think Robert's ever been able to be himself. And that's why he separated himself. That's why he left after City of Glass. Is he maybe was done being fake around the people he loved. And he needed to stop. I do wonder if Isabel ever know the truth behind her father's past or if Alec will or any of his children. I kind of wonder if he did have an affair with a woman or if it was a man and they just used someone else. I mean, I would believe it was with Anna Marie just because in the story he also wonders, Mars is his first ever person he's ever been with, girl, boy, whatever. That's it. It's always been Mars. And he does say, I wonder what it would be like to be with another woman. Like to kiss or touch. Because he's not sure about his sexuality. Which understandable. But as a shadow hunter, it's rougher. I mean, I bet today in the Shadow Hunter World 2015, which I believe we get to read about from Miss Drew's uh, point of view. I'm very excited. I hope that's a thing that Drew's gonna narrate a trilogy. That'd be great, please. I've heard she is. I would love it, but I bet in those stories, that trilogy of Drew telling gay and lesbian and bisexual transgender shadow hunters will not be accepted. Like, with us, gay marriage is now legal in 50, all 50 states. I'm so happy. Just, yay. It's pretty great to know that, but in the Shadow Hunter world, who knows what's happening? And just, oh, I it's more about Robert Lightwood than the evil we love. I get, I guess it still is, but his story is what I mostly took away from that. But I wasn't pleased with why Isabel was truly there. She was pretty much there just to do her father's work. And that seemed to go, like, way on her. I think she was acting different. I think some of it was because of the act of her trying to pretend to be like Valentine. Pretending to get them to do something stupid, like raise a demon was their thing. I feel like not all of her weird behavior was because of that. I think some of it was because of her dad. I mean, she didn't stay with him. And no one even questioned why she wasn't staying with her dad in the Inquisitor's house. No one questioned it out loud and said anything. Who knows, it could be brought up again in a different short story if she visits again, blah. And she didn't stay with her dad. I mean, we. I wondered about that, like why is she staying there? Then with the whole mission thing, I'm like, okay, that's why. But still, that was odd. Her dad and her pretty much had no communication, really. She sat there during the class, listened to him, and that was about it. And at the end, it obviously all, everything blew up again. Her feelings came out again in City of Heavenly Fire, we saw that, where she just kind of keeps everything in, and then it exploded. And I'm surprised it didn't explode earlier. I mean, this is years down the line of you know who knows how long Isabella has known the secret I cannot find a date of this she probably knew before City of Bones though I'm pretty sure because she's been closed off all the time in the seven six I'm thinking Harry Potter Harry Potter um in the six so books we know her in uh, then at the end, Sissy seems to be 
getting together all the superhero quotes were so cute i picked up on star wars and i forget what i think she quoted spider-man in it somewhere i was dying just of cuteness <laughs> otp i don't know just i'm so happy that simon didn't go with the group and he fought against it him and julie julie i believe oh sorry if that's not the right one comment down below if i got her name wrong but i was happy that he did that and he kind of showed robert he's a good guy and he showed isabel he's a good guy and he showed himself <laughs> which I think was important to have because Simon is a good guy. He's kind of getting back, he's kind of getting over the fact that he doesn't know what just happened and getting back to his true self. That's what Isabel fell in love with, is his dorky true self. And oh my god, I can't get over how cute it was that she was quoting Star Wars. <laughs> and she got and Robert, when he was opening that big speech, it was with the Dark Vader quote. I believe it was Dark Vader. I know it was from Star Wars. I was dying instantly. I knew it was Star Wars. Just so much goodness. <sighs> Such a good short story. And I think that's a good place to stop before I read the rest and I'll wait for the book. Hopefully, I doubt I could see myself on July, I think, 16th, buying the next one. I don't know what it's called that it has marked in it. Gosh, I just want to see the Blackthorn children. I miss them. And I want Alec. I want to know what's up with Alec. Because he does not like Simon. I don't know if it's because Isabel or just Alec being Alec. Who knows? He could be mad about something else and it's just... Simon thinks he's mad at him. Oh, I need more. Uh, all of my Shadowhunter books are just... Where is TDA? I want TDA. I want to find... I want the one with James and Lucy because I think it's going to say YK trans LGBT Shadowhunters are no-go. Oh, why aren't you here? I need to end this. I, it's getting weird. That's when you end a video. Okay. Bye, guys.